In order to handle dynamic items, you must first tell SwiftUI how it can identify which item is which. This is done using a protocol called Identifiable, which has only one requirement, some sort of ID value that SwiftUI can use to see which item is which. For example, you might create a restaurant struct that says restaurants have an ID and name, with the ID being a random identifier just so that SwiftUI knows which is which. Struct restaurant conforms to identifiable, var ID equals UUID, var name is a string. Next, you would define what a list row looks like. In our case, we're going to define a restaurant row view that stores one restaurant and prints its name in a text view. Struct restaurant row is a view, var restaurant, restaurant, var body sum view, and we'll send back text common eat at restaurant.name. Finally, we can create a list view that shows them all. This means creating some example data, putting it into an array, then passing that into a list view to be rendered. Let first equals restaurant name Joe's original, let second equals restaurant name the real Joe's original, let third equals restaurant name original Joe's, let restaurants equals an array of first, second, third, and then Return list restaurants, restaurant in, restaurant row, restaurant, restaurant. Now most of that code is just creating data. The last part is where the real action is. This creates a list from the restaurants array, executing the closure once for every item in the array. Each time the closure goes around, the restaurant input will be filled with one item from the array. So we use that to create a restaurant row. In fact, in trivial cases like this one, we can make the code even shorter. Return list restaurants row content restaurant row dot init. 